Welcome! In front of me I have Garmin Epix Pro Gen 2 and I'm gonna show you how to enable the phone notifications for this watch on the iPhone. Basically, if you want to receive the notifications from your iPhone on your watch. Before we start, if you want to receive the notifications from your iPhone on your watch, your watch needs to be paired with your iPhone via the Garmin Connect application. And once the devices are paired together, we can continue. And now we need to make sure that the required permissions are allowed for the Garmin Connect application and your iPhone uh, to send the notifications to your watch. And to do that, we need to open the settings on our iPhone. So let's find the settings icon and tap on it. In settings, we need to find the Bluetooth option. And once you find it, uh, tap on it. And here you should see the list of my devices and on it, you should see the Epix Pro uh, on the list. Tap on the info icon next to it. And here you should see the option called, called uh, system notifications. Search, share system no notifications rather, my bad. Uh, if you see this option, make sure it's enabled. If you don't see this option, uh, close the settings, open the Garmin Connect application. Um, in the app, tap on more, Garmin devices, select your Epix Pro. Here, tap on notifications and alerts, set smart notifications. If they're turned on, turn off the notifications then turn them back on, go back to the main page and sync the watch with your uh, iPhone. And it's gonna, basically after a couple of seconds, you should see pop-ups on the screen about the notification permission. And once you see them, allow all of the notification permissions. And once you allow them, you can go back to the settings. Uh, my bad, settings, uh, Bluetooth, info icon next to Epix Pro. And you should see the share system notifications now and it needs to be enabled. Once it is, go back to the main page of settings, scroll through the list, find the connect application on the list. Uh, let's see, where is it? It's here. Tap on it. And here, make sure that the Bluetooth option is enabled. Once it is, close the settings, open the Garmin Connect app now. And the app, uh, like I said before, tap on more. Garmin devices. Select the Epix Pro. Here tap on notifications and alerts, smart notifications, and here enable the notifications by tapping on the switch. And then you will see the general use and during activity. First, let's tap on general use. Here we can turn on and off the notifications during the general use of the watch. We can also customize it for specific types of notifications. We can calls, we can turn them on or off. Uh, we can enable the sound and vibration or disable them. Same for the texts and same for the ads. You can also uh, tap on privacy and here you can select press start or wrist gesture. And basically what, is, what it does is if you receive the notification and the content of it will be uh, obscured. And if you want to re 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 reveal the contact, content, content rather, my bad, you will need to tap on or rather press the start button or uh, perform the wrist gesture to reveal the content. Okay. And next we have the timeout, basically how long the notification stays on the screen. So let's go back, tap on during activity, and we can also customize the notifications during activity. So basically when you're recording activity on your watch. And you can uh, again turn on and off the notifications for specific types, uh, enable or disable the sound, and uh, change the uh, timeout. Okay, and once you're done customizing the settings for your notifications go back to the main page of settings uh, sync your watch with your phone so the settings apply and then i'm gonna send myself a message on discord and we should receive it uh, on our uh, watch so let's uh, send the no message and as you can see we got the notification on our iphone and also on our watch which means it's working and that's how you enable the phone notifications for this watch on the iphone Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving a like on the video.